Michigan in the tournament for the first time since 1998 against a team that last year was in the tournament for the first time since 1998. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com with you on the NCAA tournament previews presented by Brother Printers. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Greg Anthony to uh, break down this matchup, the 7-10 in the South Regional. And Greg, when you see Michigan, you see Clemson, you see two very good schools. But what are you focusing on in this game? The contrasting styles, Jason, for me, is what's going to be uh, most interesting to see how this plays out. When you think about a team like Clemson, they want to extend the pressure. They want to pick you up full court, and they, they do a great job of turning you over, one of the best in the country. Michigan, coming from the Big Ten, they're a lot more methodical in terms of their uh, uh, effect and approach offensively. Uh, they want to move the ball around. They want to make you play for the entire shot clock and they also do a great job of taking care of the basketball one of the very best in the country averaging only 11 turnovers a game so that in and of itself is going to create a different dynamic in this game in terms of which style wins out who can force the other team to play their tempo. Greg earlier this season Michigan beat Duke obviously one of the best in the ACC do they try and employ that same game plan against Clemson in this game. Absolutely. That, that's really the, the only way they play. They're going to play that 1-3-1 one, one zone, and, and, and what their hopes are is to really disrupt your rhythm and, and not allow you to get a good feel for where your shots are going to come from and when you're going to get them. And, you know, it'll be interesting because Clemson likes to shoot the three. Terrence Oglesby, you know, hasn't seen a three-pointer he hadn't liked in his entire <laughs> collegiate career. So, you know, you look for him to look to score the basketball. I want to see how the zone's going to affect uh, Trevor Booker and Casey Rivers, two guys who offensively have kind of led the charge for Clemson all season long. Uh, does this zone disrupt their feel for what they want to do? Remember, Clemson doesn't see a lot of zone in ACC play, so that's going to be interesting. And then you got another dynamic duo, duo for Michigan when you talk about uh, Manny Harris and Deshaun Sims. So this matchup for me, probably the most compelling of all in the first round. Uh, Greg, what about Clemson and the fact that they're coming into this tournament losing four or five? What type of role does that play when you're entering the NCAA tournament? Well, it definitely is not the one you'd prefer to have. You know, you'd like to have more momentum in terms of approaching the tournament. However, having said that, they've had a lot of time for practice to kind of uh, correct some of the wrongs that have really plagued them here down the stretch when they have not played well, particularly offensively, and their defense has let them down. They haven't created as many turnovers. So I think if you're Oliver Purnell, you really welcome and embrace the challenge of getting your team to get that mojo back, get their momentum back heading into the tournament. All right, who do you like in this ballgame? I'm going to go with Clemson. You know, I, I, I like Michigan a lot. I just got a sneaky suspicion that Clemson's overall athletic ability and their ability to turn over the young guards of Michigan. Remember, they got freshman Zach Novak. They're a young team in the backcourt, and they will not have seen this type of intense pressure sustained over 40 minutes as much. And I think that could be the difference and allow Clemson to prevail. And you have a Clemson team that's trying to avoid the first round upset like it had last year losing to Villanova. Greg Anthony, thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, Jason. All right, folks, don't forget you can see Greg on CBS all throughout the tournament. And don't forget March Madness On Demand is back as well. Every single game from the first round to the championship game live online for free. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For Greg Anthony, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.